Hello everybody and welcome to Secret of Auto Randomizer Weekly Seed number 157. Got a mock race today between Black Sliver and Solar Cell. So let's see what our settings are real quick as everybody's uh, starting off. Okay, so we are starting off with a flamey drama in Logic. Uh, wow, that font. <laughs> a lot of that is messed up. We're starting with the sword. We have a cutting weapon already. Uh, you can play now. And the boy is the boy. So I I'm, and I'm saying that... Uh, once we get to a little stopping point, uh, and I can start talking about what the uh, the settings are. So Solar is immediately going to fight the Mantis Ant, and it is seems like a doable boss, but he's going to skip it. Starting with 300 gold, nice. So Black Sliver, starting with the Cutting Weapon already, is going to go ahead and make a save and go towards a Solar going back in. Hmm, what is that all about? I wonder what that uh, decision was to, to leave and then come back. Um... The Black Sliver is taking that cutting weapon towards where the um, the sword is usually pulled in Vanilla, the, in the river at the start of the game. Um, made a save, so if it's nothing that he actually needs at that check, he can just uh, exit out of the game, just reset. And Solar's taking a reset as well, taking some damage from that uh, that, that uh, mech knight, mech rider. And it looks like he's about to do the exact same thing, make a save. All right, while uh, everybody's kind of on their way doing that, let's see what we've got. Mana Tree Revival. Uh, we need somewhere between five and eight seeds. Restrictive Logic, Normal Difficulty, uh, Random, Unknown Complexity, Flamey Drum, we're finding it in Logic. Timed Enemy Growth. Ooh, okay, so that's why everybody's kind of looking at it. Okay, what is our check? It's Lumina. Okay, that is being kept, and that is a hint, uh, which we're going to see in just a second. That is a good hint that the uh, girl exists. Uh... The bosses are swapped, the enemies are swapped, the starting character is the boy, but all of the characters' roles are random and can duplicate. Um, so that means that uh, the boy right now, starting with 50 health, is the boy. That means that the sprite or the girl is going to be the girl, and then the other one could be anything. We could have duplicate, we could have two boys, we could have two girls, we could have the sprite and the girl be swapped as far as their roles, as far as their sprites are so we don't know that right now starting with 300 gold chest trap frequency is high but chest trap frequency is many so a lot of chests uh being dropped but a big potential of them being traps and solar is picking up that lumina magic right now yeah black sliver so with timed difficulty growth um I think it's, I'm trying to remember what it is, it's every five minutes, everything goes up two levels at on normal difficulty, so the uh, you're going to be seeing the players actually killing enemies um, instead of trying to retain and preserve the, uh, like a low level, you know, a lot of times the kind of the standard that is played uh, for how uh, the enemy scales is... Oh, and I missed, the, I missed the hint. I'm sitting here talking. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. All right, Sliver's on his way to Upper Land to pick up the... the the freebies at uh, Moogle Village, and also see what the Upperland Forest um, orb is. Right. So normally you're you're not seeing runners kill a lot of enemies um, because the standard difficulty setting for enemy growth is matching the player's level. So as the players level up, the enemies also level up. But with timed difficulty or timed growth, um, I think it's every for normal, it's every five minutes, the enemies go up two levels. And so you actually do want to kill um, people along the way. Kill minions, enemies along the way, and get experience, get gold. We've got Illumina blocking it. All right, well, perfect. So the, the girl is somewhere. <laughs> and Solar's blasting off now. So um, the uh, gold, let's see, gold check multiplier is normal. It's just times one. The drop multiplier is 50, which is normal, so 50 gold per level uh, in a chest. Weapons are random, shops are random, hints are disabled. Okay, so I didn't miss a hint. Um, status ailments are enemy types, so whatever enemy you see on the screen will have the possibilities for those. There's the gold key right out the gate, okay? And salamando magic. Okay, so this is definitely hinting towards, you know, finding a uh, another character in the early game, I feel. Solar gets the hint as well that the Upperland Forest is blocked by getting the girl. All right, Black Sliver's done everything in Upperland Forest, and it's headed back to Guy's Navel. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, uh, double experience, double gold. That is the standard. So the big thing is that we are getting uh, Mana Tree Revival. We need to find the Flammy Drum. We have the Cutting Weapon already. Um, and that um, the rolls are all randomized. So the boy is the boy. We know that because we picked up 
Because Lumina exists, then one of the other two remaining characters has to be the girl. Both of them may be, but one of them has to be. And then, uh, yeah, timed uh, enemy growth, so you need to start killing. So Sliver is now going into Guy's Navel. So the other thing with timed enemy growth is you kind of want to be killing bosses, and even if you beat a boss and it's nothing that you want, you want to keep that boss kill because that is experience. <laughs> That's experience in gold, and it's not hindering your run in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, enemy is now level two. Okay, so they go up. Maybe they only go up one level. Maybe it's a level and a half. It's something weird like that. That is Sylphid at Earth Palace. It's very yellow. I think that is Sylphid. Yeah, that's Sylphid. Solar is down here getting the... Uh, God, I can't read what that orb is because of the pixel grinder thing. There is, there's the girl is found. And the girl is the boy. Okay, so the sprite is the girl. <laughs> and that's a javelin as well. Uh, what do we have for sale here? Okay, some interesting things for sale. Let's see what we got here. There's a spear orb. So both of them in the same location, Solar doing a little bit of shopping before heading on. And the boss down below is... I don't know yet. Spiky Tiger. Okay. So we got two boys. And that means the sprite has to be the girl because Lumina has been found. And uh, Solar picking up his uh, girl boy, good boy, uh, along with a um, javelin. So that means you have two physical characters and one <laughs> one character that can uh, buff. And um, that actually is uh, kind of nice. Uh, once Luna and Gnome are found, uh, that's a lot of physical damage you can dish out. Uh, especially swapping characters back and forth. Black Silver takes a reset uh, trying to deal with Spiky Tiger. Let's see if he goes back in and just gives it another shot. Solar is now uh, swinging away, letting uh, one of the characters just uh, take damage. Just be bait, basically. Yeah, okay, Slither's gonna go shopping real quick. So I want to say, actually, on normal difficulty, now that I've seen, I saw that growth went up only a little bit, that it's uh, every five minutes, enemies go up a level and a half. So they'll go up um, from one to two, two to four, four, five, five, seven, etc., etc. Solar takes down Spiky Tiger. First boss kill. Yep. And you gotta remember as well that, like, you know, you don't want to buy a, t a tiara, for the girl character you have right now, because the girl is acting as the second boy. <laughs> if you buy the tiara from the from the dwarf shop over on Black Sliver side, uh, you'll be able to keep that and give it to the sprite eventually. Pixel Grinders to go. Got Axe Orb. Pixel Grinder got... I don't know what that was. It was money. I think it was money. <laughs> I believe that's what it was. It was like 800 gold. Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of gold. Yeah. So, ooh, almost able to afford that, uh, that circlet. But still able to get some stuff up. See, then there's Solar buying a, uh, tiara. And, uh, technically a good future purchase. Alright, what is tro Tropicala we're gonna see at Black Sliver? Oh, okay, Tonpole. Not too, not too shabby. So yeah, with the um, Javelin, Sliver's just going to be able to sit back and fire away. Solar equips. Went ahead and bought three, um, I think they were Cobra bracelets. Something like that. Whatever whatever that is. And Solar's going to start his fight with the Tonpole. So Solar's now up one boss kill. Sliver tried to fight the Spiky Tiger and bailed on it. And so Solar also has uh, more cash. Uh, no orbs found for upgrading weapons that they have right now. There's a crit on Sliver's side. Okay, only 40 healing right now for a level 2. Level 2 Lizard. 32. Okay, yeah. So, this boss should be going down soon. And then Solar will continue uh, his trek through... Get the freebie at the magic rope chest. And Sliver will have to dive again and try and beat Spiky Tiger. Spiky Tiger uh, 
does some uh, scary damage, and you want to take care of it as uh, soon as possible. And with bosses being swapped, that means that that is the only time you'll see Spiky Tiger, I believe. All right, there's a Javelin Orb, good orb to find, nothing, and a Boat Orb. Okay, so nothing fantastic. You get some gold. Oh, Sliver, uh-oh. Sliver just resets. Mmm, he's not thinking. You gotta keep that. You gotta keep that. Oh, he resets again? Uh-oh, what is going on? Enemies are now level three. Interesting to see what, what is Sliver doing right now. He's going back down to fight Spiky Tiger, so th this is... These orbs are gone. He lost the bow orb and the javelin orb and the money. Why did he do that? Oh! <laughs> okay, and there's the sprite. Which the sprite is the girl. Yep, 45 health and has the boomerang. Alright, all characters found very early on. Um, and now they have uh, magic and not only that with Salamando and Lumina being the two magics found uh, they have attack magic <laughs> from the uh, girl sprite and Solar is leaving the uh, guy's naval area and Sliver is fighting Spiky Tiger again Alright, and uh, yeah, Solar is going to take the cannon travel. Plenty of money right now. So, yep, to Pandora, just straight there. Alright, Sliver takes down Spiky Tiger, and we'll be getting, I believe it's just some money and a and an orb, a weapon orb of some sort. Let's see what it is. Axe orb, right. And it was 1,800 gold. Oh my gosh, wait, 1,800 gold. Is the gold check multiplier is a lot higher? Hmm. Interesting. I may have written this down wrong. I thought the gold check was the same. Is the gold check doubled? Alright, Solar lands in Pandora. I'm going to look that up real quick. Black Sliver is shopping. Solar is landing in Pandora and about to go through Pandora ruins. No, I don't see... Hmm. I do not see where the gold rate is changed. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why 1,800 gold was awarded. That's strange. That seems like double of what it should have been. It should have been like a 900 gold check instead of 1,800, but... The gold check multiplier, it says in the, the stats, is, is 1. So I take it that... Uh, Alright, so what does this drop? This is the Wind Dragon in Pandora Ruins. So this will open up the treasury room for Pandora Castle. And there's Sliver picking up the boomerang and the sprite that is the girl. And I take it that in my the time that I was looking up that uh, what the multiplier was for the gold check, that uh, Sliver did not beat Tonpole a second time. So, <laughs> Sliver's going back down. I wonder if he's going to just upgrade something. The only thing he has to upgrade is the boomerang. Yeah, just going to upgrade the boomerang. Why not? You never know what it could be. It doesn't look, yeah, like it's a super special boomerang damage. Except that it's just a level up. 
but it's still the boomerang and the boomerang sucks to use. It's no fun. All right, Sliver is going shopping before heading out to the rest of the game. Uh, just going to go ahead and get everything for the characters that he has available. Solar is still fighting this dragon through the walls. And with um, two physical characters and no attack magic, or very little attack magic available. Um, bit of a pain, this fight. There it is! All right, actually, not so much, because you can just swap between characters, so. All right, Sliver is loading up with some defense. Getting, yeah, three Cobra bracelets. All right, hats and bracelets for all characters. So Sliver uh, is well protected right now for early game stuff. Solar picks up what? Let's see. A boomerang orb and nothing. And pixel grinders. Solar's going to be picking up a lot of pixel grinders this seed, I feel. All right, Sliver's on his way out of Guy's Naval. Probably will take the cannon travel to Pandora as well. Solar will get the first glimpse for us at uh, what is in the treasury room. Yep, Sliver is on his way to the flower fields and is going to take the cannon travel from there. So all characters found um, and the ability to get to uh, through the Upperland Forest and get to the cannon travel there, which will take you to Kakara and Ice Country. 600 gold. Now, is that actually 600 or was that 300 doubled? I don't know. Because the gold check multiplier should be one, and I think it's two right now. There's the wa okay, water seed, the glove, 200 gold, a whip orb, the spear, and a boomerang orb. Okay. So, uh, another couple of weapons, one of which uh, they have an orb for. Uh, the water seed, which you can go turn in right now, and one of your five to eight seeds that you need to complete the game. Sliver making a save here in Pandora. Solar's on his way north and is going, I guess, to the water temple. I mean, there's the water temple. You can turn in the seed there. There's also uh, an orb and two checks at Undine's Cave. Going back and also going to Potos to fight the Mech Rider. So some options. And then uh, also being up in this area, blasting off back to Upperland Forest to continue on now that you have the girl or a girl role character and Lumina, you can get through that Upperland Forest orb. Black Sliver is now making his way through the Pandora uh, ruins and gets stopped by Ninja, bursting at him. Only takes one damage. Good defense purchased right now. Thunderbolt, not going to feel that either. Solar gets his, uh, gets through the Frost Slimes and is fighting the Gorgon Bull. So this is the upgraded Minotaur from the vanilla game. And that means that this, because it swap bosses, this will be the boss that is also fought at the uh, first boss in Ice Palace. Or Frost Castle, whatever you want to call it. Um, because it's a ton pole is usually fought here, and then triple ton pole is the first boss there. So when you have swap bosses, um, those two bosses in those locations um, hold over in the randomizer. The solar seems well protected. It's just a matter of whittling this boss down. You know, spending a little bit of time, since he has that one seed, spending a little bit of time casting Lumina with the sprite to level it up. Yeah, no damage right there. All right, Black Sliver dropping in to fight his Wind Dragon and has a leveled up Boomerang. And he's going to throw down some damage with... Oh, yeah, with Salamando. All right, Solar has backed everybody into a corner. Enemies now level 5. And... Solar takes down the Gorgon Bull, Black Sliver uh, fighting and kiting the Wind Dragon right now. Let's see what drops we get over on Solar side. There's a, another friggin' Bow Orb. Be excited about that. Alright, Undine, what you got for us? It is... Something orb and a javelin orb. Didn't see that one. I think it's a sword orb? Don't know. Can't tell. Mystery orb. But 
Uh, the big thing was no key items dropped. Characters leveled up. Um, Sprite got magic back. Time to fight the Jabberwocky. Turn in the Water Seed. Black Silver's still doing his fight. Uh, it is the Thunder Gigas. All right. Do not have Gnome right now, so you just gotta whack him down. Good to go ahead and fight this boss early because his stats are high. He's a late game boss, vanilla. Uh, so he has a lot of defense. He has a lot of health. Um, so it's good to go ahead and get this guy out of the way early. It'll be a real pain later on. Then again, you show up later on, you have like more seeds and possibly have Gnome. He's not as big of a deal. But, um, yeah. With the uh, defense that uh, both players have purchased right now for their their party, they should be fine. Black Sliver takes down his Wind Dragon in Pandora Ruins, and that will uh, unlock the Pandora Castle Treasury Room and get him his first seed. And he'll probably follow the path that Solar is going through as well. Boomerang Orb and nothing, but about to go get... Uh, Seven checks. One from the girl and uh, six from the treasury room. Solar finishes his fight very quickly with the Thunder Gigas. Just stays stays south, stays out of range. Doesn't take a whole lot of damage because of the increased defense. Neither runner looking at that second shop in Pandora after unlocking it. There's a boomerang orb, and Solar will be turning in the water seed in just a second. Sliver pushing this child out of the way. Get out of the way! Bow orb and flam. Oh, there it is. All right. Bow orb and flammy drum. Okay, so Solar uh, could now go to Pure Lands and just like get to the end of it. All right, there's the spear and a boomerang orb. 200 bucks. The glove. The Water Seed, and a Whip Orb. So all the treasury stuff from Sliver. Solar's on his way to doing uh, freebies right now. Is in Matango. Picking up this freebie. We'll see if uh, Sliver decides to shop at the second shop. He does. Okay, we get to see what this is. Thousand Gold. Uh, The Hood. Oh, Power Wrist. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Get two of them. There you go. Nice. Power wrist, 150 gold. Gives you only four defense, but it gives you plus five strength and I think additionally plus five damage. Or maybe it's, it gives you plus five strength and therefore it gives you plus five damage. It may be both. It may get, give you five strength and five damage. So it gives you a, like a double dose. But uh, with, on, with two boys in the party, you want as much physical buffing as possible. So taking a slight hit to defense, negligible, going from six to two. Um, but gaining, or six to four, but gaining a lot of power. And that was something that Solar did not see. So, missing out on that. Silver's gonna take a save real quick. Solar picks up a whip orb from Mara and is continuing on getting checks in the Empire right now. Is doing Empire, uh, or, or North Town Ruins first. And Silver's on his way north and is going to be doing the same stuff. Gonna go to, uh, Turn in the Water Seed, do Tonpole Cave. If he turns in the Water Seed first, he may bail on Tonpole Cave, uh, or Undine Cave, which uh, did not have anything important. Um, so, that may be beneficial for him to uh, turn in the Water Seed first and uh, never come back. <laughs> Solar gets a Javelin Orb. Hey, an orb for a weapon that is uh, useful, that you actually have on hand. Not going to complain about that. Especially since you have two physical characters, you're going to be leveling up weapons a lot more. And you don't have, like, the sprite dishing out damage. No, Black Sliver goes uh, northeast to the Undine Cave first. So. Oh, well. <laughs> Doesn't get the time save. So it fights the Gorgon Bull. Solar then also picks up a Spear Orb. So one for a Spear and one for a Throwing Spear. And Bales does not go for the dive to the third chest. On his way now to Northtown Castle to pick up the three freebies there. And maybe check out the shop? Question mark? All right, Sliver. Uh, enemies now level five as well. Since he's loaded up some saves, some previous saves, he's a little bit behind the time scale of Solar right now. Leveling up. 
some Salamando against that. Alright, Solar, these two chests. We have money and money. Double money. Sliver dodging some damage from that Gorgon Bull right now, that swipe. And he's just jumping past it with his own attack. Yeah, not taking any damage from the Gorgon Bull. Solar's now in the basement, picks up a Whip Orb. All right. So that is all the freebies, other than, of course, the back chest, that third chest in Northtown Ruins. That is everything for the Empire, and I guess he's on probably, uh, just thinking about where he is on the overall map, probably headed to Ice Country, or may head to Gold Island, since he has that gold key, if he remembers that he has that. Uh, Black Silver takes down the Gorgon Bull, and we'll be getting just uh, some weapon orbs. But then, we'll be moving next door to the Water Palace. And get the Flammy Drum to progress. There's another Whip Orb. And Boat Orb for Black Sliver, and he's about to pick up uh, two more. And his characters level up to level 5, so he's, he's staying on par with the characters. A Sword Orb and a Javelin Orb. So that is the orb that I missed for Solar. Solar now at Ice Palace. Has a freebie here. Does not have the whip. Could fight the first boss. Drop down. Knows that it's a Gorgon Bull because of swapped bosses. If he wants to do that. That is in logic right now. But he's probably just going to get take the freebie and run. Sliver on his way now to fight the Thunder Gygus. And pick up his Flammy Drum in just a second. And let's see what this freebie is in Ice Palace. A bow orb. Mwah. All right. Sliver leveling up um, Salamando. Continually casting it from the previous fight. And gets uh, Salamando up to level one. Solar now landing at the lighthouse to go talk to Picard. Yeah, and same thing Sliver had uh, that, uh, that Solar had. Um, just enough defense. Enough good armor picked up early game that uh, this boss is not a problem. And it's just a, a matter of uh, just continually dishing out damage to take him down. Another Spear Orb from Picard. All right. And Solar's blasting off. We'll see who, where he travels in just a second. But yeah, uh, Sliver has given uh, both of his uh, allies ranged weapons. So they're just sitting back and blasting the Thunder Gygus while he runs in and slaps him. So... You know, just kind of continuous damage. Solar remembers. He is taking that gold key, and he's going to check out to see what this first chest is. Sliver takes down the Thunder Gygus, and is about to get his Flammy Drum in just a second. And set off into the world, the wide world. All right, just first chest for Solar. There's the Fire Seed. He could go up. Yeah, okay, so he's going to climb and beat the first boss to get the second chest. But obviously doesn't have the Light Seed. But the Light Seed may be here. Nope! <laughs> <laughs> he sees the dragon worm and bails. He says, not for me. Bow orb and the flammy drum. There it is. Yay, Black Sliver is ready to play the game. <laughs> yeah, Solar walked up and saw the danger noodle and went, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll be back never. But does find a second seed for free, so that's nice. And let's see where he's headed. Ah, to Turtle Island to pick up this freebie. Sliver has come back to Poto's Village and is going to... Right? Is this Poto's? Yeah. He's going to make a save. Ah, big ol' nothing from the merchant on Turtle Island. And I think Solar may be headed towards Fire Palace. Oh, and I uh, just thought about this. With the girl being the only casting, um, you know, ally... That means that the only things that can be cast on orbs are Salamando, Lumina, and Sylphid. And both players have found two of the three uh, elements so far that can be, like, you know, used on orbs. So that gives the possibility of a lot of progress. Probably able to get pretty deep into Fire Palace right now. Sliver is now at the lighthouse and is going to be picking up, up and down the stairs. He's going to be picking up, I believe it's a Spear Orb. Solar on his way now uh, fighting the Dark Stalker in Tasnica. To pick up this free check. Or not free check, but... This check. From a metal crawler that has taken the Dark Stalker's place. Boom. Gone. Another sword orb. Nice. Good to find one of those. And Sliver is headed to Tasnica right now. 
just staying along the southern border of the map. And so he'll be picking up that sword orb in just a second. Let's see if Solar decides to head north to Fire Palace and see if he can crack in. Yep. Oop. Yeah, that's an exploit. So two of the three possible things that could be cast on orbs right now are available. Lumina. All right. Sliver is taking out his uh, Metal Crawler right now. And is going to be picking up a Sword Orb. Boom, there it is. Receives the Sword Orb. All right, Solar is uh, going to check out this first chest here in Fire Palace. And may push on from there. Has the Fire Seed. No Whip, though. Uh, I believe that was the Light Seed. It's hard to tell. It was the Pixel Grinder Seed. Yep, and he's going up just to check. What is this next one? It's Salamando. Yeah. So he has access to all of the chests here. Sliver landing at Turtle Island. About to get a big old handful of air from the merchant. Maybe just a couple of birds. That's all he's got for him. All right, chest number two. What have we got? A bow orb. Man, bunch of bow orbs. Gross. All right, Sliver is on his way to Fire Palace as well. And so he will be picking up the Light Seed. And this will be interesting. Because he's picking up the Light Seed here first, when he goes to Gold Tower, he may be inclined to go ahead and fight that Dragon Worm in order to just finish out the tower in one swell foop. No magic. All right. It's time for auto run, baby. And also defender, you know. Yeah, so that's the thing. Sliver finding the light seed and having the gold key, not going to Gold Island yet, you know, turns to that gold key, or rather op opens up the tower with gold key. may go ahead and just do everything. And who knows, now, you know, since Solar saw the Dragon Worm and bailed, he may not want to go back there because he's gotten both chests. The only thing he'd go back for are whatever two drops. Are at the top for turning the Light Seed. The less inclined to do that. Perfect hit rate, thunder damage from that sword that's leveled up, that's nice. Ooh, raccoon cap. Don't mind if I do. Well, spends the rest of it on fairy walnuts. Dang. And there's no magic for Sliver, and he's also out of here. Doesn't have the whip, so there's no reason to carry on. Also, doesn't have the fire seed yet. Should we'll probably be getting that soon. Probably sees, you know, like, I have the light seed, I have the gold key, let me just go do that. Solar is now heading into Pure Lands, and Sliver is, oh, oh, doing Matango. Doing Matango first, and then heading north. I think Matango was just money. Oh, no magic! No magic for the girl. Solar uh, needs to slap some enemies and level up before getting to the next boss. But he's in Pure Lands right now. It's a thousand bucks for Sliver. And Solar doesn't level up before running into the boss. Black Sliver also doesn't fight anything. Or doesn't buy anything. Oh, well, it would have been uh, really nice to have a uh, Salamando. I guess he did buy some... Uh, yep. You gotta use a... a uh, Fair Walnut. Oh, well. I mean, you bought him, so use him. So. A little bit of extra damage here. Alright, Sliver is running into Gold Tower right now. Opening uh, it up with the gold key and finds his fire seed. <laughs> He's trying to magic rope out from the first floor and stops. All right. I don't think there was anything of note on the second floor. I don't see any real difference. I think there was just an orb, a, uh, a weapon orb up there. There wasn't 
magic or a seed or anything else. Uh, Sliver now headed to... Hmm? Oh, doing... He hasn't done Empire yet. Alright, Solar takes down the Hydra. One boss down, five to go. In order to complete... Pure Lands. Glove Orb and the Midge Mallet. And then a Whip Orb found for Sliver at Mara, and as, uh, that's everything for Southtown. He's heading on to Northtown right now. Solar sprinting towards the second boss here, and now has some damage reduction as well as being able to undo... Oh, man. It's the Lich. Well, okay. Sliver lands in the middle of nowhere. Now he's just uh, a frame... He's a one screen north. Um, oh yeah, they have, um, three seeds and Lumina Magic, so actually not as bad of a fight as it could be. Sliver picks up a whip, hmm, and goes, nah, not worth the time, and, uh, resets. But his autosave is just gonna be a screen north of him. Okay, I don't know what, Sliver knocked himself back, I don't know how far. Does he have to go through? Did he did he undo his his seeds? Did he lose to having the fire seed and the light seed? He's gonna go back and get his thousand gold. I don't know what Sliver's doing. <laughs> that was a weird play. I guess he's just like I didn't pick anything up for a while, so now I'm going to redo that stuff at a lower level and not level things up as much, but the enemies just went up to level 6. They went up to level 5, they went up to level 6. Going to be going up to level 8 pretty soon. I'm trying to think if in um, timed enemy growth, like if you reset your game and go back to a previous hard save, if the timer keeps going for leveling things up. I don't know. Alright, Solar's down. Uh, takes out the second ball, takes out the Lich, gets a Boomerang Orb, and <laughs> okay, a Dark Seed. In the Pure Lands, just free seed along the path. Neat. Cool game. <laughs> yep, Sliver comes back. And he's going to get this Fire Seed. And uh, probably just go and get the Light Seed and then not do anything else in the back of Fire Palace. I think that's all he's doing. He's just retracing his steps and just getting the seeds. What do we got here? It's Kettlekin. All right, Sliver's staying around. Oh, just wants to get some kills, get some uh, gold and some experience. All right, Kettlekin's almost down. And Sliver's on his way to get to the Light Seed here. All right, third boss down for Solar in the Pure Lands. Yes, yeah, Sliver has come back to the Fire Palace just to get the first chest and get the seed, and that's it. So, yeah, I think he just undid some leveling to get rid of some of these junk checks or something like that. Axe Orb and some uh, Pixel Grinder Gold. All right, Solar's characters had reached level 10. I think that at this point, the enemy should be level 8, perhaps. Alright, Sliver picks up the Light Seed again and is going to bail. He's not going to get anything else, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, Solar's now in boss number four. Oh, it's Agamemnon. It's the Watermelon. So Solar able to get some uh, magic cast before Wall goes off, uses up all of the girl's magic. And now it's just uh, time for fisticuffs. So yeah, Sliver comes back and just gets uh, the seed. Oh yeah, and gnome magic. Solar, uh, forgetting that gnome magic exists, but uh, used all the, uh, the attack magic, you know, has four seeds now, can level up, uh, do some good damage with... Um... Salamando and with Lumina. Sliver coming back to shop at 
Kakara, Solar, takes down his fourth boss. And we'll be getting a... Oh, Sliver's making a hard save here. All right. So let's see what Solar picks up here at boss number four in Pure Lands. The winds... Oh my god, two seeds in Pure Lands! What? Okay, neat. The so Solar may be in go mode right now because we need five, somewhere between five and eight seeds. <laughs> Which means that Sliver is technically almost in go mode as well. He just needs to get through the Pure Lands. So, okay, so Solar's about to start his fifth boss fight. He's on his way right now to the Thunder, Thunder Gigas Arena. Sliver is now uh, landing in Pure Lands. And is going to be fighting the Hydra at the first boss location. Sliver getting raided. Everybody duck. Get out of the way. And this is... Tropicalo? No. Boreal Face at boss number five. We'll go down fairly quickly, I feel. All right, Sliver uh, shows up and actually has mana to fight the Hydra. And throws down a bunch of... Uh, oh, gets up to level two Salamando. Yeah, all right. And some uh, level three Lumina Magic being thrown right now over on Solar's side. And level two Fire. So Solar's been uh, leveling up pretty far. I think that's it. I think that is... Yeah, Boreal Face is down, so Solar is now through five bosses. Sliver is now just uh, plinking away at the Hydra at boss number one. All right, and there it is. <laughs> boss plinked. All right, let's see what Solar picks up here. It's a Sword Orb and the Axe. Sliver picks up a Glove Orb and the Midge Mallet. All right. So Solar now has the Axe. That gives him access to LNA's castle. That gives him access to the chests in uh, Dark Palace. Doesn't have the whip, so he can't turn it in. Oh, this boss is going to go quick. The last boss in Pure Lands is the Ice Dragon. It's vanilla. No, wait. No, it's not. It's normally the Wind Dragon there. And Sliver is currently on the screen where the Frost Dragon normally is, fighting against the Lich. I guess the uh, Sprite did not level up between... No, leveled up, yeah. He's got a couple of cast a Lucent Beam right now that he can throw down. All right, Solar hits the checkpoint for Pure Lands, picks up a Whip Orb, and something else. Didn't see, didn't see what that was. A something orb. <laughs> so, we're about to see Solar just maybe done. Five seeds. Somewhere between five and eight. Could be done right now. Sliver is dealing with a, an underground lich. That's fun. Neither runner remembering... Uh, I guess they're just favoring using uh, the attack magic from Salamando and Lumina. Which makes sense. A lot of seeds already, so that's a lot of magic damage being dealt out. But uh, neither of them using Gnome. And neither of them really leveling up against uh, enemies along the way. How many seeds do we need? Seven! Ugh. Boomerang Orb and the Dark Seed found. So Solar thought that he was done. He believed. But no. He's got to go out and find two more seeds. Sliver is uh, through his second boss. Four bosses to go. So Solar now... Let's see. Could turn it. Yeah, could turn in the wind seed right now. Could. That's it. Could turn in the light seed. No, nobody's done that yet. Could go to Dark Palace with the axe, and at least get those two freebies. All right, Sliver is fighting his third boss right now, fighting Kettlekin, and we got a vampire up. Oh, this vampire's ass is grass right now. Some high-level Lumina about to come barreling down on him. Solar using another. Fairy Walnut to make sure that uh, he can just nuke this guy. And may spend a little bit of time leveling up spells here. Why not? I don't think it's necessary at this point. He's, he's casting spells quickly enough and leveling up enough that having that extra damage, not a big deal. Lucid Barrier being cast. 
on Kettle Kin. Oh, trying to do it another time. Oh. Yeah, they're just uh, whacking away. Trying to break this robot, and the robot is broken. A whip orb found for Solar. He's about to turn on the wind to seed. We'll see if this is useful. S Sliver is now halfway through the Pure Lands. All right, Gramps, what you got for us? It is the Dryad Seed and the Whip. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good find. Axe Orb and 600 gold found for Sliver. So Solar right now, six of seven seeds. Uh, he has all access. He has a sword. He has an axe. He has a whip. He has a dark seed he can turn in. He has a light seed he can turn in. He has a dryad seed he can turn in. He also has just like other stuff that he can do, other bosses he can fight. I mean, it's a good thing to come here. Uh, two freebies and turning in the dark seed gives you a, a weapon orb and two additional drops. Sliver now fighting his fourth boss, going up against the watermelon. And is speeding up instead. He's just uh, going ahead and going. Yeah, he's going to cast wall. I'm not going to care about it. So yeah, Solar's come to Dark Palace right now and is uh, being uh, befuddled by doorways. And not auto-running either. Could be. But honestly, enough straight paths, enough uh, long straightaways in this dungeon that you can just hoof it with the A button and be fine. Sliver has offered up the uh, sprite as a sacrifice just to be burst. The glove orb. All right, that's one freebie down, one to go. Solar is going to continue pushing all the buttons and going to the end of the Dark Palace if need be. Sliver takes down the watermelon. Four bosses down, two to go in the Pure Lands. And he will be picking up another seed, right? He's going to be picking up the Wind Seed from this boss? I believe. All right, Solar's going back in to see what is in the Portcullis chest. Oop, maybe not. Glove Orb. All right, so far nothing here. But still a boss to fight, a boss that has a weakness to Salamando. I believe. Yeah. Weakness to Salamando. Um, he's also got two big strong boys. Can slap the slime around. Turn in the dark seed. And get a couple more checks. And maybe one of them will be the seed. Sliver on his way to the fifth boss. In Pure Lands. Which was Boreal Face. After that he's got a Frost Dragon. And then he'll be done with the run through. And here comes the pain, burninating the slime. Sliver comes in and immediately starts charging up. Eh, not great damage. Solar actually uh, casting fire weapons on the characters. Yep, and the slime goes down very quickly. Weakness to Salamando. Sliver uh, knocking the shit out of that Brambler. Uh, it would have been nice if that had gone against uh, Boreal Face. There it is. Boom. Wow. Okay. I don't know what that boomerang was, but it was uh, kicking ass. All right. Solar hits level 13. We'll see what he gets. And Axe Orb. All right. And Shade has boomerang orb and a glove orb. Nothing. Bunch of nothing. Sword Orb and Axe found for Sliver. He's got the Frost Dragon to go through, and that'll be it for Pure Lands. Solar is going somewhere else in the world. Coming back to Gold Tower. Gonna try and uh, beat up the Dragon Worm that he knows is on the upper level. He's gonna go shopping first. 3,000 bucks. What can you get? He's just loading up on uh, fair walnuts. Could have almost got, could have gotten three uh, tiger crowns, but 
I don't think that's uh, really necessary. I think it's a, he's thinking the best defense is a good offense. If I can just kill the bosses before they start dealing out some big damage, then I won't have to worry about it. If they die quickly, then they won't be a nuisance. All right. Solar. Let's see. Whip Orb and Spear Orb. And yes, yeah, Solar is now fighting against the Snack. Sliver is done with Pure Lance, about to hit that checkpoint and learn the dreaded truth that he needs two more seeds. I'm going to go ahead and bit bop for him on his tracker. Oh, Solar <laughs> uses... Oh, man. Kid, he fell for it. He f he used a uh, Fairy Walnut on the girl character. But the girl is the boy. And the sprite is the girl. You fool. <laughs> nah, I've... I've Definitely done that before, too, where you're just, like, going through the motions, and you're like, yeah, 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 put, you know, give this person a fairy walnut, you know, whatever. And then you're just like, oops, that person doesn't actually cast magic. My bad. <laughs> Sliver returned with seven seeds, and he goes, okay, Solar gets Undine magic. Oh, so that was only the first boss. Ah, uh, okay, so he hadn't even gone up to the, the second floor yet. Right, right, right. Well, what is on the second floor? <laughs> Unbelievable! Undine magic given right before fighting the fire gigas. Now, the sprite is the girl, so only has a support magic right now. Black Silver's come back to Potos to make a save and uh, get uh, health back. Uh, or get ma mana back. Both. Get both back from a little nap. And is leaving. See so, yeah, how Solar is now fighting against this uh, fire Gygus. Boom! Gygus down. All right, the light seed, the gold key, given sequentially, pretty quickly. Sliver is coming to Mandala. And decides, nope, not where I want to be. All right, what is this light seed, Solar? Show us. All right, some sort of orb. Can't tell. Maybe a glove orb? I don't know. But Luna magic is nice to find. Some crit damage. Although, really, Solar's just been going through with uh, six seeds and uh, two types of attack magic. Just has been going through and blowing stuff up. With the, uh, the girl sprite, Sliver... With the axe and the dark seed has come to Dark Palace. Makes sense. Solar is now landing at Sunken Continent. Has a lot to do here. Several bosses to fight. Oh. Mech 3. Ugh. Ugh. Mech 3. No fun. Um, Undead, I think, has a weakness to Lumina. But Solar's just throwing down pretty high level uh, Salamander magic right now. Back to maxed out right now. Up to level 6. Plenty of damage being dealt right there. So this is another one of those late game bosses that has uh, very high stats. Uh, pretty good damage from that too. Solar, uh, I mean, excuse me, Sliver picks up a glove orb. And, oh, he's not going to go through and do everything. He's just getting the freebies and bailing. So he's not setting up all of the stuff. Oh, he hasn't found the whip yet. Right, he has not found the whip. The whip is uh, turning in the wind seed. Picks up a glove orb and then... Uh, Bales. So sets everything back. Up, oh, resets again. He wants to set everything back to, I guess, Potos. I'll leave those orbs up. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. It's too much trouble to try and undo that. Solar takes down the Mech 3. And that opens up the ability for him to turn in the Dryad Seed. And if that's not the case, he can fight whatever boss is at Watermelon, whatever boss is at Hexus. He can go check the freebie in the Grand Palace. He can go check the freebie in Underground, uh, or the Undersea Continent, and continue going through all of that shit. Axe Orb. So let's see what's happening here. Sliver has now returned. <sighs> Still nothing. Glove and boomerang. What's back here? Hey, what's in this back room? Ugh. This guy's going down fast. Has a weakness to Salamando. So the... Well, he's got a couple of casts here. That'll help help expedite things. Oh, going ahead and uh, casting Flamesaber instead of uh, 
doing one more hit. I think that's a smart move. Sliver has come to the... Oh, yeah, and they, the Biting Dragon goes down. Spear Orb. Or Snapdragon. Spear and Javelin. Sliver now fighting the Danger Noodle. First boss in Gold Tower. Solar now fighting a uh, Fire Dragon here at the Watermelon Arena. And just trying to figure out what to do. Well, I mean, cast Lumina. Big damage. Level 4 Lucid Beam should do something. So he's just chaining all that stuff together. We'll see what kind of damage that deals. <laughs> Critical damage. Lethal damage. Chaining all of the Lumina spells together. All right, Solar, what do we got? It's a Javelin Orb and a Boomerang Orb. Bunch of nothing. But he's killing stuff, and so he's keeping the Sprite leveled up and fueled up to keep continue casting magic. He's gaining... Well, not enough yet. <laughs> he's going to use a Fair Walnut instead of uh, killing some enemies along the way. Oh, he remembers the auto run. Yay! Ready, go. Meow. Zoom. Silver's still fighting against his uh, dragon worm, having a problem there. Solar's electing to go to the undersea continent first. There's a freebie right here that he can access with the axe. All right, Silver takes down his dragon worm. Money. Nice, but not what you need, especially when you are one seed away. One check. Sliver! The, the chest! Hold on. It's undeep magic. It's mildly important. Especially when you're, you're going to see what's in the next room. You're going to be like, wow, I'm glad I picked up that undeep magic. Although really, like, not, not too much of a help. All right, Sliver comes up to fight his fire guy, I guess, now. I wonder if he has any just natural, like, water weapons or something. And what is this? This is... Axe Beak, which has a weakness to Undine, but uh, also has a weakness to being lasered to death <laughs> with a level five Lucent Beam. So, uh, you know, you can hit it. You can you can hit it with a cold bucket of water, or you can zap it with uh, an orbital space laser. <laughs> you know, but or you can poke it with a sword. Last hit, Steel Killing, son of a bitch. The boy gets all of the XP and gold. And the, the sprite girl did all the work. Not fair, I tell you. Alright, way to go. Is this what you need? A spear orb and... The bow, not in fact what you want. Hey, you got seven orbs there. Alright, Solar is out of here. He's not continuing on. He's got other checks that he can do quickly. Even on this continent, he has... A freebie that he could do. Not even going to go there. Alright, Sliver is now done with the Fire Gagas fight. He's going to uh, turn in the Light Seed. And get not a whole lot. Alright, North Town area has four bosses here. And a chest in the back room that you could go deal with. Alright, Sliver is going to be turning in his Light Seed. And gets Luna and a Glove Orb. Nothing exciting. Solar is elected to go to the North Town Castle first. Oh, has he not been here yet? Ooh. Sliver has. Or no, both of them have. What? What? What's going on? Did he forget that he's done this already? He must have mismarked it or something. All right, Sliver is turning around and headed. Ah, he's okay. Going to turn in the Wind Seed, which will give the Dryad Seed and the Whip. And from there... Two more seeds out there. Only only need one of them. So Sliver has come here to fight the Vampire, which will get exploded with a few Lucid Beams. Solar is now down in the pits in the dungeon arena to fight Hexus. And yeah, just uh, 
keeping the the sprite fed with a bunch of uh, fairy walnuts. All right. Vampire goes down for Sliver. He's going to be turning that wind seed and getting a sixth seed, the Dryad seed, and the whip. I'm pretty sure that's at this check, that he's getting both of them. Solar takes down Hexus, and we are crossing the one-hour mark. Yep, bow orb and a glove orb. Nothing exciting for Solar. Sliver picks up his sixth seed and the whip and is like, Oh man, I went to Dark Palace. I don't want to go back there. Solar's now making the climb up to the roof of Northtown Castle. We'll see where Sliver decides to go, which uh, direction he decides to take things. Ooh, he's circling around LNA's castle? Maybe yeah. Oh, he's got the whip. He's got a cutting weapon. He's like, let's do this. This is two this is two things. This is two checks. Let's do it. So both runners are on their way to unknown rewards right now. We're gonna see what Solar gets at the top of Northtown Castle. And Sliver's on his way through the haunted forest to LNA's castle. Castle, castle, castle. Everyone's in a castle. Oh, this guy's ass is grass. <laughs> Frost guy, I guess, is about to get murderated by some high-level Salamander magic. Yeah, done. <laughs> I think that was one cast. I don't know if Solar actually cast twice. I think he only cast once. Because everything's still at level, like, 16 at this point. Or something like that. It's still pretty low level. So having level 6 magic hit you is just uh, a problem. Axe Orb and See Her Tail! <laughs> oh boy! Enjoy our fetch quest! Crabs in the dining room. Get him out of here. Alright, Solar. You're over in this neck of the woods. Do you turn in the Sea Hair Tail or do you go to Northtown Ruins? Oop! Yeah, he's he's looping the planet. He's gonna go turn in the Sea Hair Tail first. Sliver is almost through. What is it? <laughs> Vanilla. Hilarious. Alright. Earthseed in a cold place. Oh, Sliver gets a hint. Earthseed in a cold place. Mmm. That's a great hint. I don't know why. I guess since he's here, he's like, well, this could be the moon seed. Let me go ahead and beat this boss. Oh, and Solar is just going, it just happens to be, like, he's just done so much stuff, he's going to that cold place right now. So he's got two bosses to fight here. So Solar's just, like, in and clearing out a bunch of stuff has just gone, well, let me do this next. But Sliver found a great hint. Solar casting the auto run. Sliver fighting Metal Mantis. So it comes down to this. Uh, Solar is on his way to the... Seventh seed right now to the Earth seed. Whether it's the first boss or the second boss, don't know. Um, but if the Moon seed is at LNA's castle, then Sol this is Slivers. That is, if he can take the boss down quickly, because Solar is ripping through. Yep, there it is. Metal Mantis goes down. As I was saying, Solar is ripping and zipping through the Ice Castle right now, and this is going to be. Um, Gorgon Bull here in the basement as the first boss in Ice Castle. Sliver picks up an orb, a whip orb. All right, Gorgon Bull, there he is. Face him yet again. Blam! Slap him in the knees. All right, Sliver, is this your salvation? Is the moon seed in one of these two chests? <laughs> oh my god! There it is! And Sylvan Magic. Unbelievable. Wow! So Sliver got the hint for the seventh seed and instead of bailing, stuck around, and that was the right call. I mean, I don't know if I would have done that. I don't know. You're so far there and you're, 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 you know, you're at the boss. You find that hint and you go, oh, I know exactly where one seed is. Oh my gosh, wow. 
<laughs> and that and that just was the moon seed. That just was the seventh seed. And Solar should be picking up the uh, Earth seed either here or at the next boss. Let's see. There's the Earth seeds. <laughs> wow, real close. So that was the hint that uh, Sliver got um, from the the doll. Sliver finishes uh, with a time of 1 hour, 4 minutes, 47 seconds. Solar will be finishing up in the next minute or so. Wow, close game. Both of them in locked into combat for their go mode, unbeknownst to both of them. Uh, and what's funny is, like, looking at these side by side, you know, if they rewatch this, Sliver will be like, oh, wow, he picks up that hint as Solar is, like, headed to uh, Ice Country. And Solar will be finishing with a time of 1 hour, 5 minutes, 21 seconds, Wow, real close game. GG's to both runners. Um, cleared a lot of stuff. Solar just cleared so much more stuff and just didn't happen across the, the thing. <laughs> just uh, did so much more stuff. Sliver, um, you know, resetting and uh, going back to some previous hard saves uh, to get rid of some junk checks and keep the enemies lower level. I don't know if that really helped out too much. Um... Because you just got so many seeds, and you got Lumina Magic and Salamander Magic that, you know, you're dealing enough damage. Like, what's the difference of, like, one or two levels as you're going through? But, uh, I mean, it worked. He did it. <laughs> so, wow, yeah. And I kept two, two seeds in Pure Lands. Come on, game. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, and then, of course, Solar getting that um, sea hair tail and going, oh, I bet this is... This is it. Let's go. Dropping it off. And it's vanilla. It's the Moogle Belt. Oh, man. Well, what a, what a seed this was. I still have no idea what that 1800 GP check was. Because, like I said, I'm looking at everything right now. It says GP check multiplier is 1. Uh, so all of the checks should be normal between 100 and 1,000 gold. So, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> There's Sliver. Sliding into frame. Hi! Hi, Sliver. All right. Well, that's my cue to go ahead and end this. Thank you so much for tuning in, hanging out, watching this, and listening to me yap. It was a lot of fun. GG's to, once again, to both uh, Sliver and to Solar. Thank you so much for letting me rebroadcast this, uh, this little mock-up race. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I like doing this. Uh, if you want to check uh, them out, I've got links to their channels down below. They're um, both on Twitch. I think Solar also has now started... Uh, posting some of his runs back on YouTube. He didn't. He wasn't doing that for a while, and he's back doing that, so you can catch some of those VODs there as well, some of those runs in, uh, he does Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, and has been doing, um, oh gosh, uh, I think he does Illusion of Gaia. I don't know what else he does. He does, he does a lot of, like, retro randomizer things and stuff like that, so go check him out. And uh, Sliver, of course, um, is, on, is on Twitch, and uh, is, like, the sole creator of the Evermizer, the Secret of Evermore randomizer, which I'll be doing a commentary for that tomorrow night. So uh, be sure to check back for that. Uh, once again, uh, if you want to play the Secret of Mono randomizer, you can do so. There's a link in the description that'll take you to the program that you can download and you can uh, upload some of the, um, run some of the seeds that we uh, do here on the weekly seed, or you can uh, just do kind of whatever settings you want. If you want to run the weekly seed, you can join the Discord, also linked down in the description. Uh, and come and uh, hang out, ask some questions of the rando community here, and uh, get some tips and some hints, and uh, learn some tricks and things like that. Very friendly, very knowledgeable community here at the Secret Mono Randomizer Discord. Uh, that is it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to everything like that. Uh, I gotta get uh, Sliver's screen out of here. All these trade secrets, you can't learn. Can't know what's going on. Uh, avert your eyes. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>